I'm Babar Khatib. I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon with a fellowship training in advanced cranial maxillofacial surgery, trauma, as well as head and neck microvascular reconstructive surgery. One of the things that I absolutely love being an oral surgeon is giving a patient a reason to smile again. With trauma, head and neck cancer, and tumors, it's a very difficult time for patients and their families, and they trust in us. And to be able to give them some new semblance of normality in their life is really rewarding. My dad was a heavy duty mechanic and we worked on cars a lot growing up. And that's where the interest came in from with working with my hands. Uh, but my dad was the one that really pushed me towards going into medicine and surgery. I had originally started out doing dental school uh, in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And having been exposed to head and neck anatomy and total body anatomy, I, I grew very, very interested and that drew me towards oral and maxillofacial surgery. Uh, and that was when I was really became solidified in my decision as to where to proceed. Within our specialty, we've had so much advancement in technology that we've been able to tie in with what we do. It's always exciting to be able to bring that forward and bring that into the operating room with our patients. The John Day procedure is truly one of the most favorite procedures that I've had the privilege of learning and performing. Head and Neck Surgical Associates has a unique relationship with the procedure in that the pioneer of the procedure was a prior fellow here and Dr. David Hirsch was the one who taught my colleague and my mentor who's now my partner Dr. Patel who taught me and with that knowledge base and the teachings I had during fellowship I took that to Charleston, South Carolina where I performed the first John a day in South Carolina, as well as one of the youngest patients who've ever had the procedure. One of the reasons I came back to Head and Neck Surgical Associates was I had the unique opportunity of having been given the chance to do a two-year fellowship here, and I really saw the cutting-edge technology and advancements that we were able to provide our patients. The expectation of an institution that's been respected so highly across this country and at times the world is that the standard of care is going to be the best. What I enjoy about talking to patients about a procedure is having them know every single scenario that could potentially happen so they're adequately informed where they feel like they've made the appropriate decision for themselves and I'm going to help them get there. To be working with the leaders in our specialty who want me to join their ranks and literally stand on the shoulders of giants, it's, it's an amazing feeling and I feel so privileged to be part of this group.